Hi, I'm Jennifer O'Brien, Executive Director at Resource Depot, a nonprofit that seeks to inspire creativity, conservation, and community engagement through the act of reuse. One of the things that a lot of us are using these days is single-use plastic bags. Did you know that one shopper in one year can use 500 plastic bags? And all those plastic bags only have a lifespan of 12 minutes, basically from when you're taking it from the store to your house. We're seeking to change that. One program we have is So for Sustainability, where we're teaching people how to make reusable bags out of an old t-shirt you might find in your closet and some scrap fabric that's lying around. We have a lot of this at Resource Depot. So this is the supplies that you need. Um, we're using a tote template based on the size of our t-shirt and you'll need something to mark off your template, some good fabric scissors, and some pins. So the first thing I'm going to do is spread out the t-shirt nice and flat on a on a smooth surface and I'm going to use this this template and I'm going to put the narrow part up at the top of the t-shirt here so it's kind of um, in the middle of the neck and I'm going to be conscious of the, the design underneath to make sure that I don't cut that off. I'm going to take my chalk and this is just a general guide so I know how to cut my straight lines but I like where that is, so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut. And so the next step is I need to make the armholes for the bag because the top of the bag is, this is going to be the top part of the handles. So I'm going to fold the shirt in half. And this part I don't mark off, but if you don't feel comfortable freehanding it, you can, you can make a mark kind of where you want your handles to be. And I'm basically going to cut the neck uh, seam off of the shirt. And again, depending on where your design is and how long you want your handles, you might go a little lower or you might go a little higher. But I had a big shirt, so I'm going to... And then I'm going to get my fabric. And I think because I can't really see very well, I'm going to go from the the opposite side or what I'm calling the wrong side of the fabric to do my template. And there's a straight edge here so I'm just going to line that up. It might be a little hard to see but that'll give me an idea. So we'll cut out. Okay, so now I have the two components for my bag. The next part is going to be pinning. So. These are the two sides of the fabric that I want to be showing on my finished bag. So these are going to be what I'm going to call the right side of the fabric. What I need to do is put both of the sides that you want for your final bag facing each other. So I'm going to spread out my t-shirt and using one side I'm going to line it up I'm going to line it up with the fabric and I'm going to take my pins, and you really don't need a whole lot. This is just for it to stay in place while you're sewing. Your sewing machine will do a lot of the work for you. So I'm going to line this up. And um, a good suggestion is to make the pin heads facing out. They make it a lot easier for you to remove as you're sewing. So right side to right side. And I'm going to pin the same thing having the pins come out this way. All right, and to check your work, when you hold it up, you should have, um, basically the outside of your bag is gonna be on the inside. And uh, this is gonna be the, uh, the bottom or the gusset of the bag. So the next step is sewing. All right, so the next step is sewing, and so we're going to be um, sewing one seam at a time. So I'm going to take one of my seams, and when you're sewing with a machine, you always want all of your extra fabric to be off to the left-hand side of the machine. So um, I'm going to do about a, a half inch to an inch um, seam allowance. All right, so now I have both sides sewn, and I'm going to lift up my bag so I, I'm starting to see what looks like a bag. So now the next part is to stitch up the sides. 
So we're going to do the same kind of pinning as we did for the bottom. Um, a good trick to make sure that your sides are even is first start by lining up the two uh, seams that you just created and working your way down towards the bag. And I usually like to put my first pin right there so I make sure it stays where I want it. Again, I'm making the pin heads go towards the outside of the bag. And this is the point where you need to decide how long you want your handles to be. So I think um, I like longer handles, so I'm going to go about, oh, it looks like about um, eight inches from the top of the bag. So that's where I'm going to put my last pin, and that's going to be my cue of where I'm going to stop sewing. And at this part, part, it might be useful if you want to fold over just to make sure that you make your handles the same length. Um, so I'm going to put my other pin right here so that I have handles that stop at the same point. All right. So we're going to go back to the sewing machine. I'm using the same seam allowance. I'm going to start to stitch these bags this side. Now as I'm getting close to where I want my handle to, uh, to end, um, I'm going to plan to actually curve off to the side so that I'm actually, instead of going all the way through, going off the side of the bag here. So again, here's my marker. So I'm going to casually just turn. And because this is where there could be a lot of stress for the bag, I'm going to actually reverse stitch just to reinforce that seam and go all the way through again. All right, so now I've stitched the sides of my bag, and now, again, is a good time that if I want to trim any excess off or any threads, I can do that. Now, the last step, um, and it's not a necessary one, but I like it uh, because it allows me to, gives a little bit more structure uh, to the bag and allows me to carry a little bit more in it. We're actually going to create a gusset, which is just the bottom part of the bag. Um, so the way that you do that is you come in from the inside, and what I'm doing is basically putting my hand inside to, to flatten out the seam here. And you notice that it, it's going to be um, a point here. And I flatten everything out, so I'm kind of making a triangle. And depending on how wide you want your gusset and, and the length of your bag, you might go a little bit further up or further down um, from the end. I'm going to go about two inches here and just... Um, so you can see kind of where I'm talking about. I'm going to put a pin there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to do just a straight stitch entirely down along this line. If it helps to, uh, to mark it off with your chalk or a pen, that's totally fine. Because you won't see it. It'll be on the inside of the bag. I usually trim this down to the same seam allowance on the side just to get rid of that extra. All right, and now it's time for the great reveal. The fun part, you get to turn it all the way inside out. And there's your finished bag. Yeah. So now you have your own reusable bag so that you can refuse plastic and choose to reuse.